so hi there this is ayush and today we will learn how to make the selection of motor for a ball screw linear actuator so what are the parameters we have to calculate to define a spec of motor from mechanical design engineer point of view number 1 how much torque is required for our system and number 2 what should be the speed of the motor and number 3 how much accuracy we need in motor rotational angle and from a electrical design engineer point of view the motor which can satisfy the mechanical design engineer given parameters very simple so let's start with the calculation of driving torque to actuate the ball screw linear actuator as per the given condition and the given condition are axial load 680 newton ball screw lead is 10 mm and rotational speed is 2400 rpm that we have calculated in the earlier part of this master class series and here only two parameters axial load and the ball screw lead size will matter most for the calculation of driving torque in case of ball screw linear actuator and we can calculate the driving torque using this formula and here the driving torque is in newton meter and f is the axial force in newton and p is the size of lead in millimeter and 2000 is a conversion factor and pi is a constant and the value is 3.14 you already know and the efficiency for a ball screw we can consider it 80% to 90% so put the values and the driving torque will be become 1.95 newton meter So we have the required torque 1.95 newton meter and the speed is already calculated 2400 rpm. And now we have to select the type of the motor and selection of motor for ball screw linear actuator is very crucial because all our system positioning accuracy is not only depend on accuracy of ball screw. If the selected motor cannot be controlled accurately we won't miss the required accuracy of the system and in general i would say for high accuracy and high control we can use the servo motor and if high accuracy and control not needed we can go for the stepper motor because the stepper motors are less costly than the servo motor however the type of motor is depending on many factors and you should definitely discuss with the electrical engineer electrical design engineer because they can understand the application in a better way kyunki programming unhi ko to karna hai and for this application i am selecting servo motor and here i am referring a catalog of servo motor from yasukawa you can refer any manufacturer catalog it's all up to you and here in rated torque rho 1.91 newton meter is closer to our requirement but we should definitely go for the higher torque considering safety factor so let's select 2.39 newton meter and for the 2.39 newton meter motor power is 750 watt and it's instantaneous and it's intense and it's instantaneous instant instantaneous and it's instant maximum torque is 8.36 newton meter and this is fine but this data is important when we make the selection of coupling in the next part of this series also we can see the rated speed is 3000 rpm and this is also fit for the our requirement speed 2400 rpm so now we have to download the cad model of this servo motor and the model is sgm7j Das 08A and I have already downloaded the CAD model. And in the next part of this series, we will learn how to make the selection of a correct coupling. And also, we will address that why our selected coupling get damaged. Plus, we will start the designing of linear actuator. Finally, so next video is on your screen, or you can find it in the description. And thank you very much for the watching.